Hello everyone, so this is Mel Anasio. So this time you will going to learn how to create partition in Drive C in Windows 10. Okay, so if you are new to our YouTube channel, don't forget to like and subscribe. Okay, let's begin. So at first, let's open the file explorer. If you don't have any file explorer in your computer, in your taskbar, so you can type it in search options, type file explorer. So, ito na po siya. And then click. Okay. And after that, let's proceed to this PC. So, right click on your mouse, right click, and then proceed or select manage. So after clicking the manage, the computer management will appear. Then proceed to storage section, select or click disk management. Okay, next, let's proceed to local C or drive C. So ito pong drive C guys, ito yung tinatawag nating hard disk drive. Ito yung lalagyan po natin ng partition. So as you will notice, we have 915 gigabyte yung storage capacity ng ating drive C. Ito po ang lalagyan natin ng partition. So, let's right click and then choose shrink volume. Ayan. So, it will take time guys bago mag-appear yung um, shrink space. So, ano ba ang trabaho ng shrink space? Okay, ang trabaho po neto guys ay para makapili tayo o makapag-decide tayo kung hanggang anong capacity five hundred gigabyte from nine hundred fifteen ang panibagong local drive mo gagoy mong four hundred gigabyte o di naman po kaya three hundred o one hundred so in shrink C guys the total size before shrink is in MB is 937,823. From gigabyte, kinonvert po siya into megabyte. Okay. So, dito naman, size of available shrink space in MB, 459,456. Now, mamimili po tayo kung gaano kalaki yung storage space na gagamitin natin for partition. So you have to remember guys, in 1000 MB is equals to 1 gigabyte. So for example, if you want 100 gigabyte, ang ilalagay mo 1000, 100,000 for 100 gigabyte. So for example naman, ang gusto mo, doon sa panibago mong drive, 200 gigabyte. So ang ilalagay mo, 200,000. Okay? Then press shrink. Yan. So after that, kung meron po kayo napansin na unallocated, ito na po yung ginawa po natin kanina na 200,000 megabytes. So as I've said a while ago, yung 200,000 uh, megabyte, you will convert it into gigabyte. Ito ay 200 gigabytes. Tama po ba? Now, as you will notice, so, bakit ganun? 195 gigabyte lang nagkaroon. Invest na 200 gigabyte. Actually guys, normal lang po ito guys, no? So, wag po kayo mabahala kung naging 195 lang yan o hindi eksakto doon sa ina-expect po natin. Ngulitin ko po ha, normal lang po yan. Kasi nga, meron po tayong tinatawag dito na recovery partition. Okay? So, right click po natin para lagyan na po natin siya ng allocation. Okay? Right click. And then, select New Simple Volume. Okay. And then, press Next. Okay. So, uh, iwanan po natin to as is, guys. Okay. Then, click po natin yung Next again. Ayan. So, kung mapapansin nyo dito, guys, maglalagay na po tayo kung anong klaseng drive letter ang gusto natin. So, kung mapapansin nyo, may E, Hanggang Z na po ito. Ayan. So, uh, kung ako ang tatanungin, start po ulit ako sa, sa it. Okay? So, then press next. Okay. So, uh, as is pa rin po tayo. Leave it uh, by default. NTFS, default. Dito naman, mamimili kayo kung anong label na gagamitin nyo. For example, 
uh, for for example, kung gagamitin niyo tong drive na to for office, walang problema. Ako gagamitin ito ko guys for Comtech kasi nga po nagtuturo ako ng computer technology program in senior high school. Okay, so Comtech and then it will uh, depend on you guys kung anong gusto niyo ng um, label or drive name. So ako, I prefer Comtech and then press next. Okay? Then after that, finish. Okay. So it will take time. So titingnan naman natin this time guys. Titingnan natin kung meron na po bang drive E okay sa ating computer. Ayan. Obviously, nagkaroon na po tayo ng drive E para dito sa Comtech ko. Nung una, local sila. This time guys, meron na tayong drive E. So, pwede ko na dito ilipat ang ating uh, folders, files, or documents exclusively lang para dito sa contact. Okay? And, so this time, ang tanong, what if I want to delete the uh, partition that I made no, a while ago? What if ayoko na nang maglagay ng partition? Gusto ko nang palitan yung partition. So, ang gagawin po natin, just right-click again the this PC and then select Manage. The same process pa rin tayo, guys. Kung paano, na, paano tayo pumunta o gumawa ng, ng, um, ng partition. And then, select the Disk Management. Now, let's proceed to Comtech. Ito, ha, for example, guys, gusto mo nang palitan o gusto mo nang i-delete permanently. Just click and then right click on your mouse. Then select delete volume. Ayan. So deleting this volume will erase all the data on it. So for example, nilagyan nyo na po siya ng files or folders. Automatically, madi-delete pati yung mga folders na nilagyan nyo na sa partition nyo. So, you have to remember na dapat i-backup po muna natin o kaya i-save muna natin to sa ibang location. And then, press yes kung decided na po kayo na gusto nyo na siyang burahin. Alright. So, here you have it guys on how to create partition in Drive C in Windows 10. So, don't forget to like and subscribe. So, this is Mel Anasio signing out.